Hey everybody, welcome to Level Pixel Level. In the last video, we built this simple rig on this mouth. Let's add some higher level controls and the teeth and the tongue. Uh, but let's just get started and I'll show you how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna turn off the grease pencil. I do not need it visible for this. And I'm gonna turn off the deform bones as well. Just hide this layer right here. I want to build controls in world space, meaning that when the animator moves something on the Y, it moves in the Y direction. So to do that, I'm just going to select all of these bones, the heads of the bones here, and I can just need this one right here and this one here. I'll do the bottom lip as well. And I'm just going to hit E, and this is extruding all these bones out and Y. That's going to put them on the Y axis there. Now I'm going to hit Control plus on my number pad to select them and I can hit M on my keyboard just to move them over a layer. I'm just going to do one thing here before I move on, and that's actually to quickly rename all of these. I don't need these ones, I'm just going to delete them. Um, here, you'll notice that I actually have two controls. I don't need two, so I'm going to rename one to um, control top dot C dot zero zero one. And I'm just going to hit H to hide it. So I can click on this one and delete it. I'll do the same on the bottom. I'll do control bottom dot C dot zero zero one. And I'll hide it. I'll click on this one and just delete it. Now I'll do alt H to bring these back. I'm going to quickly rename all of these and how I'm going to rename them is just remove the word lip from here. And I'll just copy that over. Okay, that's ready to go. Uh, renaming is a pain. Um, I have some code to help me with it, but sometimes you just gotta do it. I've turned on the tweaker bones and I'm actually gonna parent some of these up now. So I'll grab these and shift click this and do control P, keep offset. So now this is moving both of these. If I turn on the deform bones, I'm getting something like this. What I've done though is I've converted a directional bone here along the lip to a world space bone, which is great when you're an animator because you just have to think about moving on the Y axis or moving on the Z axis. It conforms to the space that we're in. So I'm just gonna go along and parent all these up. Just make sure that you turn back on X mirror in case you've turned it off. I can turn on the, off the deform bones here. Okay, so those are all parented up. If I turn on my deform bones, you can sort of see what they're doing. Um, I'm getting really nice arcs now with that and a really nice movement. That's really cool. I didn't realize there was X mirror for pose space as well. It's really interesting. Um, okay, so now what I want to do is do fall offs from these bones. There's two ways I can do this. I can do this with a copy location constraint or I can do this with a um, copy transforms or a transformation constraint. I'm going to do it today just with a copy location just to keep it simple. So I'm going to select on the main bone here, the top of the lip, and I want this to have a nice fall off down the arc here as it goes. So I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to shift click on the second control here. I'm going to do control shift C, copy location. Now it's going to put it right at the location right here and actually broke the rig. But if I come to the constraint tab, I'm going to turn on offset. That puts it back over here. And I'm also going to put it in local space and local space. That means that that's only going to be activated when this control moves. So if I move the entire character off into space, it's not going to activate that copy transforms or that copy location and do a double transformation. With offset turned on, I can still move this around freely as a tweaker node. If that's not on, it's locked. No matter what values I put in the location, it's locked. Again, another way I've done this is with a transformation constraint. I really like using the transformation constraints, but they're a bit more complex to work around right now for this tutorial. I can get into those another day. So what I can do is actually on these two controls is just select them both, click on this control, do control C, and do copy selected constraint, copy location, and click OK. If you didn't see that menu, go to your preferences and under add-ons type in copy. Copy attribute menu is what you want to turn on so that when you do control C, you see that menu here. Now when I lift this up, I get that. But there's a little problem. I just want to play with the influences now to get a really nice curve. So if I bring these values down and keep going down, I'm starting to get this really cool curve here with just that one lip shape. 
Oh, I want to make sure I have turn off set there and have a huge value here, so I'll turn that down. So that's looking good like that. Now I'm just going to copy it over to these bones. So I'll click on this one, shift click on this one, control C, copy, select constraint, copy location. Select on this one, select here, copy, select constraint, copy location, and I'll do the last one too. Cool, so now I have this nice arc. Little problem here, I don't like the way this lip is bending here, so I'm just going to bring down this value to about 0.94, and I'll just do it to the other side. It's a lot of back and forth as you play around with this just to get a nice shape. Let me turn on the grease pencil to see what that looks like. Yeah, it's looking cool. So I'm getting a lot just from that one control, and anytime I can come in here and get more interesting shapes if I want to. I'm sorry, I just forgot to turn on offset on all of these controls. I just want to make sure that I go back through the constraints and just turn offset on. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to turn off select off of my grease pencil just to make it easier to click on these bones. Okay, let's do the same to the bottom. And to do that, I'm just going to click on this one, shift click on this one, and I'm going to copy selected constraint, and I'm going to go along and just do that. I like these values. I don't want to enter them again. So I'm just going to change the name in the constraint instead of remaking them. And just two more to go. So I'll select on the middle control here, and it's control bottom.c. I'll just copy that name. And then in each of these, I'm just going to paste the new name. I'm just hovering over the word bone target there. You don't actually have to click in the field to paste the name. You can just hover over it. You can do that with copy as well. You can just hit control C and copy a name like that without actually clicking into the field. It's kind of a nice effect on Blender, and it's really easy when you're doing stuff like this. So now I have this for the bottom, and I have this for the top. That's working out great. Let's do the corners now. So with this one, I want to move this out and pull the entire corner with it. Again, I'm going to do a copy location. So from here, I'm going to shift click on this bone, do control shift C. This adds a constraint with target and I'm going to do copy location. It's going to go right to that control here. I'm going to do offset. I'm going to do local space and local space. Now when I move this up, I get that. I'm just going to rename this to corner. And I'm going to copy it to all of these other bones here. So I'll select on these six here. Shift click on this one, do control C, copy select a constraint, just corner this time. So now it's moving one to one with the corner. I want to dial in that influence now uh, to get some interesting smile shapes. So I'll grab this one here and just turn it down. Maybe about 0.2 would look nice. It's a lot of back and forth when you're working with these constraints. It's a lot of playing around. I'll do 0.4 with this one, 0.4. And I'll do 0.6 with this one, and 0.6. That's looking good. Um, I could keep playing with these values. In fact, I'm going to. I want that to be a little bit sharper on this one. So I'll just play around with dialing it in manually. And these ones I actually want to bring down even more to like 0.1. Like I want it to be a really subtle smile shape at the base of the mouth. And these ones I'm just going to even out in between. I'm just looking for a nice arc shape here. I'll bring this down. Yeah, and I'm getting some fun shapes. I'm going to copy all these to the other side. I'm going to do them one at a time. So I'll click on this one. Shift click on this one, do control C, select a constraint, corner. I'm going to continue along like this and I'm just going to fill in the new names later. Um, I find this so much easier than adding new constraints and trying to figure out what my dials were. Either way, there's a bit of a manual step here. I do have some code to mirror constraints over. Um, maybe it's an add on that I can release in the future, sort of like a rigging tool panel help menu. So now from this corner, I just want to select on the bone name, copy it, and under the corner constraint, just paste it in. Fun stuff, when all that works. Now I can test this out. So I can move this up, and yep, I'm getting that nice corner shape. Let's check out all the controls. 
I don't need the deform bones on anymore because I can just test this out. I'll turn off my x-ray option and I can actually move this to see the shapes I'm getting. It's getting there. Again, there'll be a lot more playing around with these values. Now that it's rigged, now I can really play around with how much I want to influence things. So this top lip here comes up here. I almost want this to come up and just form a nice straight line. So I might grab this value and just turn it down to 0 0.05. Or maybe just play around with that value there just to get a nice line. Same with this one, just bring that down a little bit. And this one, just bring that down. It's a lot of push and pull with these values just to see how it's going to work out. Um, that's getting there too. Just see how that looks there. And even with these shapes, I can always come in here and just still move these to get more interesting shapes as well. So this is where you would just play around with the values and see what you could get. Um, it's, I'm not going to do it here because it might take a while to actually get these to work right, but it's just something you want to play around and sort of calibrate your rig. So let's add a couple more things. Let's add a tongue, uh, teeth, and the background. Let's change a little bit too. Okay, so come over to the layers. I'm just going to rename this to lips. And I'm actually going to duplicate this layer. When we duplicate this layer, we also keep all of the weight painting, which is really helpful. And I'm going to name this back. I'll just move this down. And I'm going to actually open up the materials panel. I like to divide this and have the materials open at the same time just because it can get a little bit confusing flipping between them. I'm going to add a new material, and this is just going to be called lips. It's the outline, and we'll call this mouth. The mouth, I'm going to turn off the stroke, and I'm going to turn on the fill to just be a dark red. Okay, so for assigning this, I'm just going to turn off my lips option here. and It's a duplicate, so it looks the exact same. But I'll select on back, I'll go to edit mode, I'll select everything, and I'm just going to click Assign to the mouth layer. Now, there's nothing, there's no outline here, but I can turn lips back on. For the lips, I'm going to turn off the fill. So now I have two layers, and it's sort of making up the outer lips and the fill of the back of the mouth. Because I weight painted those at the same time, they share those weights. I'm going to add three more layers. I'm going to call this Teeth Top, Teeth bottom, and tongue. So I'll flip to draw mode. And in teeth top, I'm just going to make a big rectangle. It's perfect. I'll come to my materials. I'm just going to add, I'll just do two right now. I'm going to add this one and call it teeth. This one I'm just going to call tongue. Teeth is just going to be a fill with white, and the tongue uh, is just going to be a fill with a lighter red than the mouth. So I'm going to click on teeth bottom. You can click on your teeth material here too, and I'm just going to add another rectangle here. And I'm just going to hit enter. Click on tongue. For the tongue, I'm just going to add a circle. And you can't really see it right now. I'm actually going to exit that and make it on the tongue layer here. And just click and drag. That's fine there. I'm going to go to edit mode and just select the teeth top one here and assign it to the material. So now I have a teeth top, a teeth bottom, and a tongue. So I'm going to move the tongue above the teeth top. So I don't want these to show outside of the lip. And that's why I made this extra back option here. So if I click on the tongue, I'm going to click on this mask option. Now that masks it to the teeth top. And I want to mask again and then mask again all the way down. Uh, sorry, the tongue I actually want below the teeth bottom. So that's how I mask that inside the mouth shape. Uh, let's do a couple things on the rig now. So select on the armature. Go to edit mode. And I'm just going to hit shift A to add a bone. I'm just going to lift this up. I'm going to hit Shift S, uh, cursor to selected. Click on this one, Shift S, selection of cursor, and just put it in world space. And I'll just grab this down. This is going to be my teeth top controller. And I'll duplicate it down, teeth bottom, and I'll duplicate it down again for the tongue. And I'll just quickly rename these. Rename this teeth bottom. I'll rename this to tongue. 
now we just need to way paint these two minute shapes and this is really easy so i'm going to come to the layers menu here or the data i'm going to expand the vertex groups and i can just add three and do this dynamically so type type in teeth top teeth bottom and the tongue now i can go to edit mode and i can just select the teeth top here and just click assign to here that assigns it with a weight of one in edit mode i don't even need to go to weight paint mode i can select the teeth bottom and i can click assign um, i'm just going to hide the teeth bottom right now just so i can select on the tongue come to my uh, tongue vertex group and just click assign now i'll turn the teeth bottom back on so you can see them and when I click on the rig and go to pose mode, I can now move the teeth in that area. And since those are all masked down to their lower parts, I can also move the teeth bottom and move the tongue. So now next steps would be to add some fun shapes to this rig, add a god node, build it into a bigger face, and start to calibrate the actual shapes. This is how I usually build my mouth rigs. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.